COVID-19 pandemic comes and everything has to change. And so that's the way we learned. And today, I'd love to share with you guys a method I adopt to improve my learning efficiency in, during the pandemic. That is to take mock exams. Having good performance in these uh, mock exams not only helps you to review everything you acquired, but also to have a good preparations on um, for the real ones. Let's talk about the written exams first. In the written exams, the most important thing is to stay calm and take time to plan your answer strategy before beginning to write. Uh, let's take a look at the procedure uh, for the written exams. Number one is to get an overview of all the questions. Simply means don't forget the back of the paper. Number two, that is to determine uh, the order in which your answer will be added on. Number three, read the questions carefully. Uh, what kind of questions is it? What does the examiner really want to know? And number four, that is to take separate notes on another piece of paper. Write out the main points to use your answer. And number five, that is to start a new page for each answer who can leave enough space to go back and add more information later. Number six, be sure to include all the relevant information according to the questions being asked. And number seven, if you feel especially nervous, put down the pen and take a deep breath. Number eight, check through your answer at the end. Let's talk about the oral exams. In the oral exams, the primary goal is to understand the overall context of the material and use the correct um, vocabulary and uh, keywords for the subject matter. Show the examiners what you know. They will judge you based on what you show, not on what you know. So use this simple formula to remember the most important elements. The first one is self-assured presentation. Uh, you need to wear clean, smart outfit, look examiners in the eye and choose the words carefully, speak clearly and loud enough for them to hear you. Number two, anticipate the next questions. Actively think about the next steps in the uh, discussions. Consider the purpose of the examiner's questions and provide examples for to, to support your points. Number three, motivate your listeners. So just don't lose your train of thought. Get to the point quickly and keep your answer short. That's it. Thank you for listening.